Alrighty, we're about three minutes away from the drop of the next puck here tonight on the SPL Network here at 9 o'clock. The Plymouth Plague taking on the Las Vegas Vandals coming up here shortly. And uh, it's going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you for JSTronics for doing um, for doing everything in chat. You know, Big Man, Live Track, also in chat, another mod. Thank you guys for sticking with me throughout basically the entire regular season. Um, here in chat every night. Deserve a shout out along with the rest of staff helping SPL run. I I would tear my brains out if I had to do this on my own. And uh, open committee, you know, Babu, Clifford, Cape, Rambo, Rabbi, couldn't do without them. Along with you know, Pino, Snail, Less than Dennis, Noxu, Diener. You know, just just, just to name a few more. But uh, tonight, Plymouth Plague here against the Las Vegas Vandals here in the Pro Division. As we continue on, here are the current standings of the Pro Division updated mere moments ago. The Colorado Cobras clutching the division title as the Orlando Otters were the only ones able to catch them prior, but now I don't think it's possible. I'm 90% sure. I haven't fact-checked it. Let me fact-check it right now. Uh, Orlando Otters can tie the best record in the Pro Division with the Colorado Cobras. I think win one and one, so it comes down to goal difference. So they have not clutched. So let me just put this one right back to that. <laughs> they haven't clutched it yet. The Orlando Otters lose one more game. You know, it's clutched. Until then, we'll have to see what happens. Boston Big Beans need one more. They just need one more. They have the difference over the Comets, and that's all that matters. Assuming the goal difference stays as it is. You know, between both of the games, you know, they came out dead even. They won their first game tonight in a six-goal fashion. They lost the second one in a six-goal fashion. So they evened out almost dead even. You know, they might be ninth in the Pro Division, but they only have a negative four in the goal difference, and that's that's saying a lot, you know. A lot of goals forward, a lot of goals backwards, and we'll see how this one plays out as the, uh, the Plymouth Plague. We're going to get into the lobby here sooner rather than later. We'll just have to wait and see what happens here tonight. But, uh, yeah, the top eight of the Pro Division make it into the Pro Playoffs. The bottom two go into the Pro Promotional Series. Here are the play playoff seeding for the Pro Division. Here in season number four, the first place play against eighth place, second and seventh, third and sixth. You can see it better than I can explain it. Uh, all of these are best of three. The Championship Series is a best of five. And uh, I think the puck rewards go with the top eight of the Pro Division as well. Instead of having a winner-takes-all scenario, we have ourselves more of a, a more diverse bracket first place gets 1,900 or 193,000 pucks second place gets 106,200 pucks third place and fourth place you make it to the semifinals you're promised at least um 39,700 pucks and then if you're in the first if you're in the first round and you get kicked out you get 12,500 pucks I think that's the five dollar bundle but I could be mistaken there um yeah if you're in the top eight of pro, you get some free pucks out of it. So, you know, free cosmetics, do what you want with it. Uh, it's your money, and you want it now. But, uh, yeah, a little something to strive for. But uh, the bottom two of the pro promotion, or the pro division gets down into this bracket where uh, they have to defend their spot against the challenging challengers. Um, fourth and fifth place play first, and then the winner of that goes on to play first place. Winner of that game goes on to play for the pro spot. Um, if you beat the pro team, you get their spot. If you lose to the pro team, the pro team remains up in that division coming into next season. But um, if this does change over the offseason, it might. We might just cut out the fifth and sixth seed and make it, you know, first place fourth for the chance at tenth place in pro, second place of challenger, place third place of challenger for a chance at ninth in pro. Uh, it might speed it up a little bit. You only got to play two best of three series instead of what could be three in a row. But, um... If we do change it, it will be that way. The Challenger Promotional Series is a little different as well. We only have one Challenger team, so it's a round-robin type format. You make it to the end of your intermediate bracket. You put into a round-robin with the Challenger team. The top two in the round-robin go up into the Challenger. The loser goes down into IM. And uh, the Intermediate Promotional Series is already underway. There's too many, too many names to count. There's no way to make this an even playoff tree. So you just play a best of three. If you win your series, you go into IM. If you lose the series, you go down to open. Chicago Slap Daddy staying in IM as of right now. Buff Buffalo Buffalo is playing here at 10 o'clock here on the SPO Network. Nighthawks, Neapolitans uh, playing previously tonight. Not sure what the outcome was on that game. But, uh... Yeah, 
their game number one came out on top for uh, the Neapolitans. So New York might still be an eye or still an open. I'm not entirely sure. We got game one reported in for an 8-4 result for the Neapolitans. I don't know if the rest of that series is finished or not. It's 9.02 here in the afternoon. Let's get to know the two teams that are going to be down there on the ice. Plymouth Plague going to be on the right side of your screen in the red jerseys. T, Speed Chaser, Flaccid, and Spill is going to be your starting four. Uh, they normally run in uh, what could be considered a herd. And then for the Las Vegas Vandals, Rodeo Blue, Kyler down there on the ice warming up currently. Seppi, the substitution for that roster. I don't think he's seen daylight for two seasons now, but tonight might be the first. But the Boston Big Beans coming up after this game. Uh, if you didn't take, get a chance to take a look at the nightly schedule, here are the five games on the ballot. We started off with a best of three between the Slap Daddies, taking a two-game sweep over the Loggers. Boston Big Beans came out uh, a little short from what they were expected to, in my eyes at least, against the Vandals, as that one resulted in a 12 an 11 to 6 game, I think it was. And then after this game, here tonight, Plymouth Plague taking on the Las Vegas Vandals here at 9 o'clock, which is now. Boston Big Beans will be taking on the Yosemite Grizzlies here at 9 30. And then to cap off the evening, we have another best of three. The Buffalo Buffalo is taking on the Michigan Mafia. So the Michigan Mafia finished third place in the Benders Conference. They'll be taking on the undefeated Buffaloes here after um, a handsome minute. But I think both teams are confident going into. Uh, what is what what might be the final rung but uh that's to be determined if you don't know a whole lot about the intermediate promotional series check out our website we have an article up to keep you in the know about each of the uh the franchises in the intermediate promotional series if you're interested in that we'll take a look at it if you're just interested in pro we'll get this one underway here shortly as uh both sides are filling into the lobby spills t chase your starting three for the boys down there currently taking a look at the previous five. I'll get this right eventually. Plymouth play coming off a one-game losing streak against the Ottawa Drinkers. Ah, uh, that's not right. We're going to pretend like that screen doesn't even exist. <laughs> Las Vegas Vandals already have their playoff spot. Plymouth Plague with this win will hit, catch their own X on the uh, standings. The Xs do not exist on the site. These are by my own calculations alone. But uh, Plymouth Plague having two games left on the season. This is one of them. And uh, this will be the last time we see the Las Vegas Vandals in the regular season as they take to the ice here tonight. Let me double check that. Las Vegas Vandals have two games left. The Ontario Outliers, Plymouth Plague, being their final two opponents of the season. Plymouth Plague, of course, having two of their own as they have uh, this game. And then later on, or I guess... Previously, they were supposed to play the Orlando Otters yesterday. Mace was not feeling up to the task because he was a little under the weather. So, um, there is that. And so, uh, we'll party on. Kyler Rodeo, you're starting two with, along with Blue for the Las Vegas Vandals. You're starting three for the Plymouth Plague. Spills T. Chase, this might be a little bit of a preview for this promote or the pro playoffs. Fourth and fifth seed will be playing each other. It might be these two. With a win, of course, Las Vegas does bump themselves up in the bracket a handsome amount. They'll be tied with the Brooklyn Bandits for second place. But if the Plymouth Plague pull off a win and the Ontario Outliers pull off a win in their last regular season game, uh, let's see what happens. But once all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll, Kyler Rodeo and Blue in the lobby. T, Chaser, and Spills on the flip side of the coin. But we will uh, we'll abide our time. As all six parties are ready to rock and ready to roll, we're taking it down to the ice for 15 minutes of slap shot between the Plymouth Plague on the right and the Las Vegas Vandals on the left. Puck has dropped the game, is on. Speed Chaser pulling away that face off back over to T. T looking to dance the disco down low. Blue Steel shoot scores, and the Las Vegas Vandals off to an early lead. 1 0 here in the first. 
a little bit of miscommunication with between a stick and the puck. And, uh, you know, sometimes the servers don't really let you play too kindly. Eight seconds into it, we found our first goal, and it's in favor of the boys in blue. Top side, over to Blue. Blue off the back end, able to keep this one going north. Spills a little stick check, able to bring this one down low for the Plymouth Plague as he looks to bring this one out without a little bit of scratching along the way. Rodeo goes off of Blue, back over to Kylar. Kylar back to the Las Vegas Vandals. Down towards the near side, finds the passing lane down the straight, doesn't take it, elects to be a little fancy with it. As that one's jammed up along the boards, goes off Blue, back over to Kylar. Kylar, the former captain of the Maui Monkeys along the west coast, looks to bring this one down the near side. Two-time captain of, or two-time winner of the champion's uh, title over on the west coast as well, Pacific Cup. Good shot by T, goes off the side of the Cajun wide. T, down low, off Kylar. Kylar, down towards the near side, able to lob that one over to Rodeo. Out to in front, and Blue, shooting, nice save by Spills. Kylar, brought back over. Looking down towards the near side for any options along the boards. T, trying to keep pace with him, goes over to Blue. Good chip at the netting, but not quite able to hit that one on target as it goes off the end walls into the hands of Spills. Spills, stop side over to T, snapped away. Brodeo with a shot attempt, goes off the far side and wide. Spills able to bring this one down the near side, cuts this one across the grain over to T. T, back in, nice chip over to Chase, not able to snap that one in. As that one goes along the near side corner, and Kyler will take his time coming out of the zone. 3.30 remaining in the first. It's 1-0, T with a shot, he shoots and scores, making it 1-1, and the Plymouth playing. Find themselves on the board. A good takeaway and a timely one at that. 3.26 remaining in the first. And we're tied up here at one. Spills with a shot, hits the iron, and that one rings wide as Chase almost gets that one back into the wheelhouse, but not able to swing that one through yet again as it's wide by mere inches. That's about like, I don't know, hamburger. If you're, if you're from Europe and you don't use uh, Liberty units. Three or six in the first. Here, Spill is brought out towards the top side. Able to lob that one over to T. T off the four and back down low into the neutral zone. Here, Spills. Spills off the back end. Good shot goes off Rodeo. Nice shot attempt by T. How does that even quantify in your brain to react to that one? But Kyler, able to do it, stands on his head in the crease, and we remain tied because of it. Wow. Kyler with a good shot goes off T. Kyler off the back end, bringing this one down towards the near side. Here's T. Looking to pull this one along the boards. As he tries to get this one peeled off. From the corner, Spills keeping that one in. T off of Blue, down to the near side, peels it off. Good shot attempt, but able to complete that one back into the defensive end. Blue, Rodeo, near side, back in, four in. Dangles through nicely, but at the last second, the server said no. Chase, back behind his own cage, looks towards the top side for this leak out. Pass goes off the boards over to T. T off the forehand, back in, out in front, stopped up by Rodeo. Here's Kyler with two minutes, 13 seconds remaining here in this first period. Finding its way all the way down to T. T, top side, backhand out of the zone. Kyler here looking to pick it up. Spills there, applying that back check pressure. Kyler, off the backhand, top side, Rodeo pulls it. Not able to throw that one past T as that one's collected over to Chase down to the near side. It's loosened up to Spills. Rodeo knocks that one back into the defensive end for the boys in red. Here's the Plymouth flag on the breakout. Captain T bringing this one down center avenue. Back in four and good shot in. Chase able to lob it into the netting off the hip from the holster, and he pulls out the six shooter and pops a new one. What a shot off the dome. The Plymouth Plague lead it by one here in the first. Clean. T, taking this one towards the top side, off the four, and good shot goes through into the near side corner. Skylar picking this one up, takes this one around town. Skylar. Up against Chase, brought down the near side, gets him to overextend, down center avenue, shooting off the face of T, and that one goes wide of the netting. T, down to the far side, Blue picks this one up down towards the near side. Blue, along the wing, from the point, good lob into the corner, Rodeo picking up where he left off, down low, out in front, T there, controls that one out to the far side, face off, Dot gets past Blue. T with a step, shooting, nice save by Kylar. Chase, pops this one loose for the boys in red, off the back, and out in front, stopped up by Blue. Here's Blue, back over to Kylar. Kyler down the near side boards, finds Rodeo, goes off the hands of Spill. Spill's trying to get his wrench back into the clockworks as Rodeo will find his way back to Kylar. Kyler here with an out, crossing that one over to towards Blue. T with a little physicality. Good shot, hits the iron, and I think that one was considered to be saved. T down low in his own corner, trying to get that one away from Blue. Spill's there to help him along. As this one goes over to the far side boards. T in trouble, able to lock, knock that one out to the point. Rodeo, point to point, down to the near side. Spills on the first touch on this one, off the back end. Stopped up at the red line, gets past one, it's past two. 
able to take this one towards the netting with Kyler there with an answer to that one off the near side. Good shot attempt goes off the <laughs> off the hands of Chase and Kyler with the tie maker. Two to two is the score. And a fortunate bounce off the tip of the stick of Speed Chaser. And they skip the replay on that one. 18 seconds remain in the first. And we're tied. Still stole it back in. Forehand. Good shot, Kylar, with a better save. Brought all the way back down into the Plymouth zone with five seconds remaining. As Rodeo takes one off the forehand, trying that wrap run. Chase says no. T says no. And that's the end of the first. <coughs> Las Vegas down. Considerably compared to last game. 2-2 two to two is the score. Plymouth playing in the Vandals. Tied at 1 at the end of 1. Tied at 2s at the end of 1. I'm, I can't do numbers. I'm I'm physically... I'm, I'm mentally deaf. Possession game is even. The passing game pretty close, but not quite. Las Vegas doubling Plague's passing game. We'll see if that continues here as we go into the second period of action. Let's take this one down to the ice. We get this second chapter of play underway. Six to five, the shots. Two to two is the score. Plymouth on the right. Las Vegas on the left here as we start the second period. With the Plymouth taking control. T over to Spills. Spills with a shot. Nice stop there by Blue. Kylar towards the top side of the ice. Look brought down to the near side. Let's go Mallards. 15 seconds into it. Kylar looking to start this breakout for the boys in blue. Looking down towards Center Avenue like it's Krispy Kreme donut on Tuesday morning. Kylar looking for the pass. Stolen away, but Chase, Chase with a shot. Scores! A beautiful shot takes back the lead early here in the second period of action. 4.36 remaining on the clock. 24 seconds into the second. We've already found our first goal of the period. Rodeo stolen down to the near side, finding his way over to Blue. Blue off the back end, bringing this one out to the point. Kyler over to Rodeo. We're looking for the shot. Almost able to release it. But T able to get in the shot lane in time. Spills over to T. T, the captain of the Plymouth Plague, down the near side, banks it off the boards. Rodeo out the other way for the Vandals. Shooting off of T, hit out the far side. The only spot he could have picked the puck to not get scored on. Rodeo off the far side. I'm not saying it was intentional, but it, it's just a fact. T, top side, looking to bring this one through the traffic as this one bounces his way into the corner. Kylar snapped off as this one's loosened over to Blue. Blue off the forehand, stopped up by Spills. Blue controlled back off the back end, able to find his way back to Kylar. Kylar here. Looking to bring this one topside over to Rodeo. Rodeo off the forehand, out to the blue line. Good shot goes off Blue into the corner. Blue. Looking to bring this one out to the point. Good shot attempt by Kylar, but not able to beat out Chase cleanly. Kylar off the forehand. Takes this one off the far side, just out of the reach of Blue into the hands of Spills. Spills out the other way for the Plymouth play. Gets past one. A three on two. One on two. Good shot attempt, but not able to get that one through Kylar. And Blue there awarded that save. Over to Chase. Chase back in. Shoot scores off the far side. And out goes the hat. It's a hat trick for Speed Chaser. And the Plymouth Plague now lead it by two. Sometimes it's not the hardest shot that matters. It's the one that's most well placed. And in this case, that's true. And in this case, the Plymouth Plague able to make out with their second goal here in the second. Spills, Chase holds W, shoots, he scores. That's his fourth of the night. And the fifth for the Plymouth Plague. Mid swig. I was not prepared for this. Chase with a beautiful shot right from the feet of Spills. And uh, where opportunity arises, Plymouth Plague arises well to take, take advantage. T on front goes off blue. Blue with a nice clear out, able to keep that one out of the way of harm. The difference is three. The Plymouth Plague feeling pretty good right now. Spills looks towards the top side of the ice. Looking to bring this one out. I'll answer the Canadian team question in the break. Kylar, near side. Nice dangle. Nice stop by Spills. Spills here towards the top side of the ice. Able to bring this one out over to Chase. Chase here controlled off the hip over to T. T, back in. Goes off blue. Blue down towards the near side. T looking to control this one back to the near side. Able to take a shot off the near side as that one goes off of Kylar and into the corner. T had me guessing. He faked me out like I was a, a hamster. Just, just uh, I don't know, just running in his ball. Spills. Goes off blue, back over to Kyler. Good shot, goes off Rodeo. Almost able to dome that one into the netting. As Rodeo down the near side, slapped away by Spills. Goes off blue, blue, stole it, shoot, scores! And we're back within two as the score has resulted to a 3-5 on the board. A beautiful shot by Blue and a beautiful capitalization at that. Here in the second, there's two 11 remaining. And it's a difference. That's closing. Rodeo, back in. 
A little soft. T able to throw that one back down into the defensive end for the Vandals. Kylar starting this breakout. Chase trying to keep this inside lane clogged. Kyler goes off, spills over to Blue. Blue with a shot, goes off Rodeo into the far side boards. Out in front again. Nice touch by Chase to keep that one wide. Kyler off Chase into the corner. Blue looking towards the top side of the ice. Able to pounce that one over to the wing where Rodeo shot attempt goes wide off the far side. Here's T, the captain of the Plymouth Plague. Looking to bring this one out and around town to make the most of his ability. Off the near side, gets down the straight, gets free from Blue. Off the back end, bounce off the stick of Chase into the hands of Rodeo. Rodeo. Not able to steal that one back as Spill is able to find T. T, a backhand shot off the far side and wide out in front yet again. T, aligning that pressure with Rodeo, sends off the stick of Chase down into the defensive end. Kyler, top side to Blue. Blue here off the back end. T, able to beat him out in a foot race. 115 on the clock here in the second. Top side to Spill. Spill's on the back end. Rodeo with a stolen puck, but not able to find a way to get it to the bank. Blue, slapped off by T. Here's T. T, down in the corner. Looking to bring this one away with a minute remaining here on the game clock here in the second period of action. Blue topside goes off Spills. Spills off the back end. T off the back end as well. Blue stolen shot off the near side and wide by a small amount. You couldn't put a small child between that shot and the post if you wanted to. 45 seconds remain in the second. And we're back to a two-point difference. And we are remaining there as of current. Blue with a shot. I hey, the far side post. I've never seen a more perfect shot that hasn't gone in. Rodeo, blue shot scores, and the gap's down to one as Blue with a hat trick able to come to town with a fourth goal for the Las Vegas Vandals. Spin to win. Kyler with 20 seconds in the second period of clock, bringing this one down to Blue. Blue with a shot goes off the near side over to Spills. Spills back in his own defensive end, eyed up by Blue across the fencing. As this one's got down to just, I think I went over the stick of T along the boards. Eight seconds remaining in the second. Kylar starts the last breakout of the period, taking off the stick of Chase over to the hands of Spills, and that's going to do it for the second period of action as we go in with a 4 5 game. Las Vegas leading, or Las Vegas trailing by one. We'll see if that one stays true as we continue on into the third. But there is an all Canadian team. The, uh, they were the Montreal Popes, or now the Del Marva Dandy Popes. All of those players on that roster are Canadian. But uh, all six parties in this game are ready to rock and ready to roll. As the puck is dropped, the game is on. Plymouth Plague on the right side leading the va the Vandals. Four to five. See how this last chapter of play comes to be. Rodeo goes off spills down towards the near side. Chase in hot pursuit of this one for the boys in red. Four handing this one back into their own defensive end. T towards the top side. Going off the back end, able to deke out Blue down towards the near side. Gets the step on him, but not able to take the puck and stride. Nice beat over to Chase. Good shot. Big save by Rodeo and Kylar. Saving the day as well. Able to keep the puck going the other direction. T, back in his own defensive end, looking to keep possession for the boys in red. The Plymouth Plague down the near side. T with a shot off the forehand. Good save off the post. And Kylar is going to be thanking the iron on that one. Kylar, back in. Rodeo out in front. Goes off the end glass over to Blue. Blue off the forehand goes over to Kyler. Kyler out to Rodeo just out of his reach as that one goes off into the corner. T, Rodeo, the captain's battle down low in the corner. Rodeo able to win that one way off the back end. Looks to lodge it in, but Chase able to save the day in that case in point. Good shot. Nice save by Spills. Spills. Looking for an opportunity. Blue looking for one of his own. Chips that one down to the near side boards. Kylar bumping down in. To keep the press on. Spills over to T. T off the forehand trying to bring this one out to the near side. Chase coming after that. This one off the near side trying to bring this one northways. Kylar finding possession back for the boys in blue. Kylar back for the Vandals. Forehand pass. Shot now off the near side and T able to deflect that one wide. Blue. Forehand. Backhand. Down low. Chips that one towards the paint but T there able to keep that one back behind his own goal line. Rodeo with a shot. Spills there with a block. T, back in his own defensive end, gaining possession. Throws his one out, the full 200, the full sheet of ice. With 315 remaining. The plague remaining in the lead, but uh, only by one this time. Rodeo with a shot, T with two saves. And Rodeo not able to get through the doorway. He's knocking, but nobody's letting him in. Tyler, up against Spills in the neutral zone, sent over to Rodeo. Rodeo with a shot, goes off behind the cage. Here's Blue. Spills, Tyler. Tyler back in his own defensive end. A little fake. Able to get himself a little bit of elbow room to work with. 250 remaining in the third. In this final chapter of play. Rodeo with a shot. Nice save by T. 
Blue with a chip against the end of the cage. Now one is denied by the netting. Rodeo. Back in forehand. Out in front. Blue with a shot. Scores! And we're tied up. Five to five. Holy cow. Opportunity at its finest as my pin drops. <laughs> Every frame during that replay. We have ourselves a beautiful goal. I'll save the replay. If you're from the Vandals and you want that blue, if you want that, I have a clip of that one without any uh, <laughs> without any frames dropped. Good shot, T with there with a better answer. Good shot goes off the far side. No one goes wide yet again. The Vandals putting on the Ritz right now. 16 shots in the game. And they're really just applying the lather. They, they put the lotion on the skin right now, if you know that reference. Kylar, near side to blue, blue off the back end, shooting, oh my goodness, the Deeks, the Dangles, the Dongle, the six to five score, the Vandals in the lead for the first time since the first. Wow. That is crazy. I don't, I, I'm at a loss, I don't, fantastic. Fantastic play. Spills back into the zone, danger zone, able to pop this one out, shoot, scores a 200 foot a 60 yard field goal and just like that we're tied up back in the action wow Tyler might have thought it was on the ice but uh here we are with a 6-6 score to say otherwise 152 remaining in regulation we might see overtime hits the post rodeo hits the post on the other side a little doink a little dank and that one goes in the netting as rodeo pulls that one back from the bank and he finds himself a goal on the 18th shot where the las vegas vandals off the hip of spills what might have been another post hit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes this, this game makes me uh, feel spiritually offended. Because that I've done that plenty of times in pubs. Spills. Off of blue. Into the corner. Rodeo back out to the point. Looking for the hands of blue as he continues this one back into the defensive end. Shuffleboards that one over to Kylar. Kylar. Looking for the dance down the near side. Gets it off the boards. Rodeo with a shot. Almost able to roof it off the post. Over to Rodeo. Nice shot. But T with a better save. Spills towards the top side of the ice. Able to pop that one over to Chase. Chase pulls a shot. Not able to find the netting as that one goes over to T. T looking to make the most of it. Over to Spills. Let's it go. Back into his own defensive end. A little stat padding. But the save was not rewarded. 60 seconds remain in regulation. The Plymouth Plague are down by one. Something we're not used to seeing this game. T. Down low in the offensive zone, looking stride for stride. Top side, near side, no passing lanes open. Blue, knocked loose over to Kylar. Kylar, near side, crowd across the crease and spills with a block. Blue, trying to dangle past, stay able to take this one down behind the enemy cage as he banks this one off the boards once, twice, finds an opening towards the top side. Sends to the wing, good block there by Chase on rodeo shot from the point. Chase over the stick of T. Down the full sheet of ice, 30 seconds remaining. Kyler takes this one away, goes off Spills. Spills kept in the zone. T towards the netting, driving on, out through the crease. Oh no! Chase down to the near side, finds his way over to Spills at the red. Spills, bakes, dangle, shoots, scores! T with a deflection goal! Oh my goodness, you'll never see anything like that again. Here in the third, we're tied up at threes. Wow! Holy cow. 10 seconds remain in regulation, and T, the man of the hour, spills with beautiful neutral zone possession. No words can possibly explain what I'm thinking right now. No, that's not hype enough. We're just jumping right back into action. Overtime period of play is underway, and I, 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 there's not a better two sides of the coin to play this. Las Vegas, here's Kylar. Pass towards Blue, just threw him into the defensive end for Plymouth. T down low, out of front, Rodeo with a big shot, but Chase saves the day, stacks the pads on top of the crease, and we remain remain scoreless here in overtime. Spills, trying to get a hand on this one. Kyler down low in his own corner. Spills, taking this one off the forehand back in. Kyler battles that one free, back in his own defensive end. The pressure is on, and it be thick as Kyler and Spills battle it out down to the near side. Kyler towards the zone. <laughs> I, I was genuine fear. That was genuine fear. <laughs> Kyler top side. T bringing this one back off the backhand. <laughs> Rodeo shooting. Nice save by Spills. And that was brought down to the near side. Uh, not like that. Spills down the near side. Goes off Rodeo. Rodeo off the backhand. Look for that shot into the corner. Spills pulls this one back away. With a minute elapsing into this overtime period. 
Spills. Looks to make the most of his opportunities. Down to the near side. Chase here with a touch on it. No, Rodeo steals it away. Forehand shot. Opportunity hits the iron. That one rings off the near side and is not even registered. Spills off Rodeo. Rodeo. Forehand shot goes over the grace. And the line. T with a save. Oh, my goodness. A flashback to playoffs in season two. Shot by Spills. And that one remains the same. Seven to seven. Still the score. And I'm losing my hair. T. Back in his own defensive end. Looks for an opportunity. Top side off the boards. Rodeo with a stick check against Spills to keep him from having the puck. Kyler down to the near side for the boys in blue. Blue with an opportunity. Shooting scores! And out goes the hats for the second time tonight. The Las Vegas Vandals closing in overtime. Eight to seven. What happened? What on earth happened? Insane slap shot from both sides of the ice. The Plymouth Plague not able to pull out the W in overtime. Vandals clutching it out in a beautiful form and facet at that. Goal scorers of the match. Blue with six on 11 shots. Rodeo with one on nine. And Kylar with one lone goal. Four shots on his three saves. Beautiful onslaught. A beautiful game by the Plymouth Plague. And then for the Plymouth Plague, or from the Las Vegas Vandals, and for the Plymouth Plague, Chase with four goals on six shots, Spills with one goal on two, and then T with two goals, four shots to his name. T had 10 saves that game. 10 out of the 16 were from the name of T, and then followed along by Spills with five saves of his own. But uh, Las Vegas Vandals playing that neutral zone trap. 76 passes compared to Plymouth Plague's 39. And a good game at that. But uh, that's going to close out tonight's pro matches here on the SPL Network. Coming up next. No, wait, we still got the Beans. We still got the Grizzlies. We got one more pro game coming up here shortly. And by shortly, I mean now. So uh, if you don't know these two teams, here's the roster. 